So the other day guys when I was loading up um, I pulled something up and I, I've got this beautiful diamond and ruby ring what I've had since about probably well, over 20 years it's a beautiful um, probably eight diamond and blue sapphire ring what I brought in Turkey got custom made in um, so I'll show you that one in a minute and somewhere inside this truck is a quarter of a piece of gold what broke off my ring so I doubt if I'll find it but anyway it's not the end of the world as long as I've got the main piece of the ring so That window stuffed. Let's see if this starts. Yup, I think it will. Oops. I don't think it will actually. Go, come on. Oh shit. I want to get it going guys so I could just drive over the top of these these are just stainless steel inserts from chimneys and I just want to flatten them so I can make more room in my trailer and there's more there but anyway it's a pain in the ass now because that battery is flat and to recharge it I'm gonna have to find my battery charger but normally I'd use my truck but I don't think my cables will fit the battery's just over there but I don't think there's any way the leads will reach this far. Anyway, we'll try and find my battery charger and let it charge overnight. I'll take this off. I always take these off, mate. Guys, ten minutes later, I'm already stinking hot, so I'm going to take that off. It's all the stainless steel I've um, cut up in the last couple of days, so we'll start loading that in the back of the trailer, guys. Guys, I'm in the mood um, to go and weigh my truck. I've been doing videos today. Got the urine, um, pizza, Dumble Young Cemetery and other stuff, tadpoles, frogs. So I'm just about to go into the um, Dumble Young wheat bins right here guys. This is where the truckies or the wheat farmers drop off all their wheat, barley, oats, lupin. So I'm going to go and weigh my truck on the weigh bridge and see how much my truck weighs. I haven't got my trailer, I think my trailer weighs probably about 250 kilos. I can't remember, but I do know the exact weight of my truck when it's empty. So I'll do a bit of research and find out. So hopefully I've got a fair few kilos, guys. I'm about halfway from my scrapping for stainless steel and aluminium. And getting a bit worried, guys. Hopefully I'm gonna have enough time and hopefully I'm gonna make enough money. So we'll just go up here, do a U-turn, and then we'll weigh it. The other day, guys, I did that video on the tarps. They're, they're those tarpaulins. Uh, the CBH guys here are going to hate me. I'm good mates with um, one of them, Jono. I'm not, you know, Jono, if you see this, mate, I'm not bagging you out, mate. I know you've got no choice. This shit happens all around Australia uh, with the wheat and other crap, you know. So something really does need to be done about the correct disposal of those tarts because they are covered in aluminium phosphate. So, Jono, if you do watch, mate, you're not, I'm not bagging you out at all, mate, because this stuff happens all around Australia. John I was one of my old school mates. Had a few run-ins with him back in the old days, didn't we, John I? I'll never forget, mate. So we're gonna weigh this. 2.70 ton guys. So we'll weigh, I'll find out what my truck weighs totally empty and let you know. So hopefully it'd be nice to have, I don't know, a ton. I'm not that confident, but guys, so I'm starting to stress out a bit about it. Anyway, it will be right. I've got batteries, so I can always come back and do that big battery run just before my mortgage is due, and I'll be right. All right, guys, we'll head home now, and we'll chat soon.
I'm going to put this pizza in the oven and then we're going to go out to the dump hopefully, go for a walk so we can find any um, surface finds. Guys, just out the rubbish dump after that mud larking session and nice air conditioner here guys but it's bloody too heavy. I uh, just picked up this one as well, air con for the uh, aluminium there, aluminium uh, radiator, copper, so that's an awesome score and look at this. Another beautiful candelabra someone's put out. That is awesome. So maybe someone put that there for me. So who knows? If they did, thank you so much. And there's a nice piece of aluminium here too, guys. I think that old um, clothes hanging thing. So that is awesome. We'll put that there. I'll add that to my candelabra collection. Oh, nice. Look at this, some beautiful old, I've got an awesome collection of these too guys, hinges, happy with that. I'd pick up this iron but it's got no room, I haven't, yeah definitely no room, so that's an awesome score guys, so we'll chuck that there, also found this one, another nice piece of iron, and we'll grab this one, this is definitely aluminium, yep. No, oh, might not be. I'll get my magnet. There's a few pieces of aluminium here too. And there could be more stuff over there. But that's about it, guys. Microwave oven. I need to come out and take the motor out of that. Anyway, probably get bulldozed. And if it does, I'll just try and pull it out again. So we'll chuck that in there, guys. And we'll see how heavy this is. But I'll put that to one side and I'll try and get my Land Cruiser out here tomorrow and pick it up, hopefully. Otherwise, if someone else takes it, that's all right. We'll get the magnet for this thing. And look at this, guys. That is a beautiful piece of iron. Oh, that's nice. That is off an old fireplace, I think, or a bed head. That's nice, I like that. We'll grab that too. Scud guys, another pickup. <laughs> this is my mate Dave, how are you? Yeah, good, hey. So anyway guys, this is my mate Dave. And he's a pommy guy from England. Whereabouts in England are you from? Uh, Where? Birkenhead. Birkenhead? Birkenhead? Where the hell is that? Where the Beatles come from. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll take a photo of Dave and then we'll take off. First thing up guys, get that air con, I've got my trailer on now and then we're going to cut up some electrical wire and strip that wire and I'll add that wire to my scrap pole for when we head up to Perth on Friday this week hopefully. G'day guys, Billy here. Well, it's uh, now the next day guys, or maybe even a couple of days later. I uh, didn't really do much yesterday, I don't think, I can't remember guys, uh, because the weather's been pretty crap. But anyway, I've done really well today. Um, haven't been using the angle grinder, just using uh, spanners and screws and stuff, so taking heaps of stuff apart. Um, all of this stuff here, doing tomorrow, so I've cleared this big patch like you saw yesterday or a couple of days ago, so that's all been clean. I've got this stuff here to do, aluminium, stainless steel, a bit of brass. Not to mention all of this stuff, I'm unsure if I'll get this one done, just depending on if I decide to head up um, on Friday next week. If I don't, I might just stay up until head down the following week so I can get as much money as I can and then come back and hopefully take some more batteries down. 
So all of this is um, for tomorrow guys, so I should be able to get all of this done tomorrow. And we're going to go and show you what's in the back of the truck at the moment. So we'll head over there and have a look. G'day guys, it's Monday today and so this is what I've done over the last couple of days guys. Just ignore this big piece of tin. So I'm getting there guys, it's probably about half full and all of this stuff over here I need to take apart today. So stainless steel aluminium. It's about an hour later and I am pumping through it. So I'm going really good using my little angle grinder. So what we've got here guys, I'm just going to take this apart. This is a stainless steel peat handle and a cast or aluminium pan. So I'm just going to use my angle grinder and just cut these off and that way that stainless steel piece will come straight off. Getting rid of the little aluminium rivets. Off yep, beautiful. So we'll chuck that in the stainless steel bowl and in this one in the back of the truck. Guys, so it's probably about day five today of actual scrapping, and you can see it's getting fully loaded. And I've still got all that stuff over there to take apart. Anyway, there's plenty more room in the back of the trailer and we'll have a look there this is a trailer guys so i'm just trying to make as much room as i can and it's just this one's just going to be full of stainless steel and worst case scenario if there's not enough stainless steel i'll put in um aluminium as well I won't overload it guys but the back here i will try and fit as much as i can and it will be all covered with uh tough hollands so or even if i've got to go as high as that roll bar there guys i will and yeah so it'll be all strapped down properly it won't be unsafe i've got four tie downs on at the moment or three and i've got about two or three more so and i've got um those ones there those five uh copper iron um heaters of solar hearts or the solar roof solar powered things so I'll chuck those on top as well and also down the sides here and maybe up a bit so like up here so it's just above that roof rack or the roll bar and then we'll tie it all down All of this stainless steel is all ready to go in now guys, so basically I've just got this, it's just not really fiddly stuff anymore, so it's just mainly just little angle grinding jobs, I've done most of the fiddly stuff, so I've just got this here, and this extrusion here, that's all done more or less, that, and a couple of chairs, and I showed you before a few things over here, nice big heavy stainless steel bull bar, Aluminium bikes, they'll be easy, um, and that's more or less it, guys. So we're getting there slowly.